Hiya Duck! Today we're going to be talking about Chrome and the difficulties that you might come across when you're using Chrome. But today, I'm going to help you. I'm going to show you how to make your Chrome last until your next appointment. I nearly said forever, but it'll last until your next appointment. So let's get cracking. Definitely need gloves on because this is going to get messy. <laughs> Chrome just gets everywhere. It just, pfft. you don't have to breathe on it and it just goes everywhere. So I've got a black nail. Now, Chrome always works at its best over a dark colour, as in black, because you will always, if you put it over white, it will look totally different. Black will always show its true reflectivity, if you get what I mean. So we've put a coat of um, Void onto this nail, and then I've base coated it. That's all I've done. I base coated it because I don't want it to be sticky, just for demonstration purposes. So what you would do if you are doing it on a client, you wouldn't really put base coat on. You would put your color on, then you would top coat. So just imagine that this has only your color on and then we're gonna to top coat. And it doesn't always, some people think, oh, it's it's all about the, the grade of the chrome, which does have a factor in it, yes. But it's not always just about the quality of the chrome. It's about what you're putting it on. Chrome, if you put chrome onto a fully cured, tack-free top coat, yes, it will chrome, but it won't chrome as good as you slightly under curing it. Now, don't worry about slightly under curing it because we're still gonna put it in the lamp and have that full cure. Now, with our gel polish and our, our top coat, I'm gonna put it in for 20 seconds. But it doesn't matter what brand you're using, it's gonna take a bit of time to sort of figure out what works the best. But I'll show you the difference between fully cured, 20 second cure, or, an, or really under curing. And we'll show you different chromes as well, because I've got lots and lots of different chromes. I've got an abundance of them, which is quite exciting. When I look at this nail, there is an imperfection in this nail. So if I roll that there, can you see? There is a fuzz in that nail. So if there's a fuzz in the nail, that's also going to interfere with your application. So when you put your top coat on, it may enhance that. Sometimes it kind of gets rid of it a little bit, but I want you to see the difference. And what with this one, we're gonna really under cure it. So as we go through, we'll get from worst to the best, hopefully. So I'm going to use our glossy top coat and I'm gonna put it on and I'm gonna put it on quite sparingly. Because this is another problem. If you put it on too sparingly and you really splay the brush like this, you're gonna create bubbles. So if I pop that in the lamp now, and I'm going to under cure it as well. So if I put it in for 10 seconds, we're going to have a number of problems. So that was 10 seconds. So we'll look at the surface of the nail. Can you see how it looks? And it looks bitty. It will be quite cured, but not fully cured. But can you see how it's like bitty? There's like little bubbles and imperfections. So if we get a chrome, and I'll use two different chromes on each side so you can see that it's more to do with the surface of the nail than it is the chrome. What we'll do is we'll use this one, which is the nail brand, and that's called That Shine. And then we'll use a Lacente Rainbow one so you can see the difference. So chrome that is more finely milled will always give you a higher shine. And this is under cured. You don't be touching it with your fingers. So some people put chrome on with their fingers. They like to put it on with their fingers. So you're touching uncured product, which is not good, can lead to allergies. And then you're also putting the natural oils from your fingers onto the nail. That will cause a problem too. So let's use this one and we'll go down this side. 
and it's sticking. But it feels slightly rough. So let's do half of that nail with that one. And then we'll use this one on here. And I can feel like the sponge wants to stick to it a bit because it's a little bit sticky. And because it's slightly sticky on the surface, yes, it'll grab out of the chrome really well, but it'll be duller. It won't be as shiny. Put some paper towel there. I'm going to get a soft brush. Oh, the Aliana hand. Look at she's all sparkly. But there are a few different problems with this. You can see the imperfections underneath the nail. It enhances it on both sides. So nothing to do with the chrome. It's the surface that you're putting it on. We used... The applicator. So most chromes come with a little sponge applicator and if you run out of them, go on Amazon, they've got them like really cheap. You can use them or you can use a silicon tool. So obviously that's more environmental friendly to use a silicon tool because you can just clean it and use it again. But it depends what kind of, it depends what you grab first I suppose. And we'll look at that and I want to try and get a really really close shot. So we'll look. We can see the imperfections. See the little bubbles and the little lines from the brush marks. But you can see it looks a little bit bitty and it even feels not super smooth. You can see all the particles. And that's because it's really under cured because we only put it in for 10 seconds. Plus the surface that we worked on wasn't as good. Let's get another nail. Aliana, you're gonna look like you've had a bath in chrome today, so do apologize. <laughs> right, let's just clean that off as best I can. So this nail, we don't really have any wrinkles or any lines or little bits of fluff. We do have a little bit of chrome, but I wouldn't worry about that because it's just going everywhere today. With this one, I'm going to fully cure it. So this is our tack free top coat. I notice how I'm, oh, there's a fuzz. Get rid of that fuzz. If there's a fuzz in your top coat, the, the top coat will enhance it and you'll have like a little wrinkle. And then when you put your chrome over the top, it will enhance it. So you want to kind of glide it on, make sure it's a nice smooth surface, pop it into the lamp, we're going to cure this fully. So we've learnt from this nail, we need to put it on gliding the top coat over the top to make it nice and smooth and we're also going to cure it more but I'm going to fully cure this one just so you can see the difference. I'm going to pop this one we did earlier in the lamp and give that a full cure because don't forget we only cured it for 10 seconds. This is our full cured black nail with the no wipe top coat on in glossy. It's not going to work if it's matte is it? Fully cured, nice smooth surface. Instantly I can feel like it's going on a lot nicer. It's going on smoother, shinier. I think it's like a mirror. 
finish though, isn't it? Yeah, it's more of a chrome finish. And let's do the Lasante Rainbow one. Ah, See? that doesn't want to take very well at all, does it? No, we've got to keep rubbing, keep rubbing, keep rubbing, keep rubbing, that's it. So it takes a little bit more force and more burnishing to attach. So sometimes overcure won't always work with brand, lots of different brands. So I'm kind of having, you can see how much I'm pressing on the nail from how much the nail is actually moving in the finger. Lid's on so I don't knock them over. Right, let's get rid of the excess. Instantly. That silver is way more shiny than that previous one. Way more chrome. Now with this one, because it's a rainbow one, you'll always see very fine little particles. However, the more milled the product is, the more you would lose those fine little particles. But you can look at the shine, like look at the light reflection. It's still very highly shined. Yeah. So immediately it looks better if we compare. Yeah. Immediately it's, it's actually chrome, not just silver. Or rainbow. Like if we compare the rainbow. I don't know if you can maybe the overhead shot, I don't know. See it's a lot it's a lot duller, isn't it, on the first nail. Got a lot shinier there. Let's compare the silver, which is really chrome on on this one. But the first one we did, it's quite dull. Okay? I'm not going to top coat them yet because I want to go through this process first. So this one, we fully cured and it's worked a treat. However, you may run into one problem by full curing. If you just top coat this now, it's going onto a shiny surface. Super shiny on super shiny when it comes to gel does not stick. So you need to kind of embed that product into the top coat. So the next one we're going to do, we're going to do a 20 second cure. Chrome it, then go back in the lamp for the additional 10 seconds, which will embed it in and make it stick and last for longer. Okay, so we'll do that now. So no wipe top coat and we're going to do a 20 second cure. And we're also going to be more floaty floaty with the top coat. We're not going to drag it down really thin. Right, 20 second cure. So your lamp should have your timer on it. Our lamp has a timer, and obviously this is what works with our brand. So if you're using a different brand, it may be slightly different, but it's good to sort of test it. That was 20 seconds. Let's get the same chromes out. So again, we'll do this silver on this side. One other thing is you need to make sure 
that your client's positioning of their hand in the lamp is correct. That will have an effect. If they've got their thumb to the side, then it's not going to cure at the same rate. So I'm burnishing that in. Let's do the other side. And this is going on a lot better than it did before. There's less pressure. I can see there's a slight bit of resistance, but nowhere near as much as there was before. And by burnishing in all the way is going to really attach those particles. And again on this side, we're going to really burnish that in. So like every, every nail tech loves chrome nails, but they don't like doing them because they feel like they don't last. So when a client wants them, they're like, I find a lot of people say to me, you just don't want to do them because they know that they're going to come back. Right, let's dust that off. And you can see that you still get a high shine. I mean, look at the flow of light. So you still get that high shine on both sides. So if we compare these two, they pretty much look the same, don't they? Yeah. But let's put that in for a cure. Now, a lot of people will go straight on with the top coat now. Um, I wouldn't do that. I have two different base coats. You can do this with top coat, but I think this works best because base coat creates adhesion, yeah? Now, if you use a base coat that you use every day, when you brush the base coat onto the nail that has the chrome particles on, they will transfer into the brush and you ain't ever getting that out. So I would basically use one for doing your chrome, and one for doing everything else with, yeah? If you only have one user palette. Yes, you could. What good idea, Jay? You could, yeah, you could decant some out onto a palette, use your Brendette brush, which is your gel brush, and apply it on that. That's a very good idea, that is. So, I'm going to do that on this one. And again, you're going to glide over. Some people double top coat as well. That won't work because what did we say earlier? Shiny with no sticky layer won't stick to each other. So you've got a no wipe top coat and a no wipe top coat and you stick them together, they don't always work. So you could buff it slightly. Sometimes we do that when we use our jelly top coats. So you could do that. And then we're going to top coat. So now what we've also done is created a barrier between the chrome and your top coat. So it's not going to transfer onto your brush. So those chrome particles are not going to transfer onto your brush. Pop that in the lamp. And I'll show you on this one, what happens if you just use a top coat. Right, so we get that as smooth as we can. And I want you to pick up 
you glide, you glide, glide, glide. The amount of, no amount of gliding over this is going to make it any shinier or smoother. Can you see those particles in the brush? Yeah. There are now little particles of chrome in that brush. No amount of cleaning that is ever going to get it out. And because this nail is all wibbly wobbly and the, there's texture underneath, no amount of putting that top coat on smoother will actually smooth that out because the light will still reflect onto the chrome that's on there and show you all those imperfections. So this is the good one. She's a good witch. And then I will, on this one, do the same with the base coat. If you can pick up those particles, see there's particles of chrome in that brush. There's little particles of it. So if you've got a client and you're using that on them, well, they ain't going to be happy are they? Because they're going to be like having little bits of chrome on there. So this is the bad one. So it still looks, it feels smooth, yeah? It feels really smooth because we put the top coat on, but it's too late. The mistakes have already been made. And it's, it's a naughty nail. Now we can top coat this one because we've created a barrier and we've also created adhesion. So this technique of doing the base coat over the top of your chrome will also make it last longer. With that layer of top coat as well, what you want to do is make sure you cap those edges. So you let the brush just tickle the sides of the edges so it like it just grabs those edges and it's tight and you've got protection. So we don't visibly see a lot of difference between those two. This one was a full cure. This one was a 20 second cure. This one was the first one. Whereas the application of the top coat wasn't done right. It was massively undercured. So, but this, so these don't look any different, do they? Visibly. But this one will last longer. So there you are. I hope that really helps you because I get so many questions about Chrome. Don't be afraid of it. Use this technique and it will last you so much. And I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm loving the chrome nails. They are very New Year's Eve, they are, aren't they? Mm. Very nice. They're very, um, they're very like taste, taste from RuPaul's Drag Race. He's got nails like this, Doc. You need them. Anyway, everything we've used today will be listed below along with discount codes and links and all that shebang. And there you are. I'll see you in the next video.